Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, where we are gonna start today with the usual, well, not the usual thing, but we are gonna crack on with cleaning, cause cleaning is so pros, right? And yeah, just to be fair, we start here, and then start there, go there, and then maybe go there, and there. That is the plan. I know, it might be not the most greatest thing you can do, but I somehow am having the inner urge to bloody clean out stuff here. Mm, sorry for that. <laughs> that is just how I feel. Um, yeah. Alma, can you hear me? Harding Street. Oh, yeah. Here you are. You're safe, aren't you? It's not about that. Is the before we go on with the conversation? No, I the need Zesla to go. The will have revenge. Minong wants the resistance to join the attack. They're our allies, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it might be since this game is using the autosave feature, which I am, I think I said that a couple of times, am not the biggest fan of because I think this conversation I've heard a couple of times and I am actually fed up with that. This is, in my opinion, quite hideous, Everyone but. The Zeswa are a strong ally, Daylan. We'll all be working together. Wouldn't this be, you know, a good time to negotiate? Since we're so strong and everything. What the RDA did was terrible. Even for the RDA. I mean, yeah, it was awful. Really awful. But I don't know. Just feels like the fights keep getting bigger. And now we're risking a whole bunch of people. It's what they want to be doing, though. Helping us to free Pandora. I just wish people wouldn't have to get hurt. But I think the autosave thingy is not gonna go away anytime soon. Now, big ass question, do we have... No, I don't think so. Alright, I would like... I guess. With the RDA around, we kind of always are. To stand up and defend Pandora is to be Dami. What about the resistance? Alma. She likes to think herself one of us. Sometimes I forget she isn't. Before now, she was the only adult who sort of looked like us. Your roots were severed early and planted in false soil. Mine would cut in battle, sending me to wander. We share the same path. What have you found? I may tell you sometime, but not on this human toy. Just never stop looking, both around you and within you. And... Okay, that was quick. Quicker than I expected it to go, but who... Well, not who am I to complain, but I ain't gonna complain about that. Ah, okay. Mm hmm. I obviously was. Maybe not obviously. <laughs> you have seen it, what? I was looking for the towers, but probably we need to do something at them towers right now, right? Yep, yep, yep. Shutting down the stuff. One of two. And the second one. Where do we have it? On the other side, are you... No, that's the quest I've selected to... Oh, there we go. And then at least this tower is gone. That's good. Laser Prospect Delta, gone then. That's pretty damn much appreciated, right? And not much trouble, right? Okay, yeah, we lost a couple of arrows. But we didn't lose any HP, right? And that is sometimes for me, hard for my brain, hard to process that sometimes the AI is spotting us dead on. 
uh, although we should not be spotted, in my opinion at least, and sometimes you just kill guys right, left and next of the guys who are, you know, doing their rounds there and they, you know, don't take any action. And then they, if they see a little bit, if they turn out, they suddenly spot you and instantly shoot and hit. That is sometimes a little bit weird, but if you execute it good, then um, you can see how you can do it perfectly, so to say, right? Now, we have found maybe an upgrade. Was it a mod or an upgrade? Wait, I... Oh, wait, there? No, yeah, mods. There, go. I'm sorry, I had word finding, obviously, problems there. Now, um, well, the stamina... I don't know. Um, I would rather, I think, stay with the weak spot damage. I mean, I guess, ideally... Ideally, I would switch them equipment around. Why? And there was one more. I'm sorry, but there was, I think, one more right there. Okay, ideally, I guess I you would switch the equipment around if you go into a battle. If you know I am flying, you have the one on, which is for flight. And if you know you're going into a fight, you are going to switch to the equipment for the fight but i ain't gonna do that so i'm way too lazy i don't even know if this if there are people out there who go at it that way i would understand switching weapons i think this is that would be way worth the effort but switching around the in this game i think there are certain games which it is worth a try a worth to experiment um in souls like games or souls born games Understa understandable, but here in this game, if you don't have any problems or you are not being shot at, I would say, why should you? Anyway, that is my weird little opinion, which is not oftentimes a good one. I don't know. That has, everyone has to judge that by himself or herself or, yeah, not or, but yeah. Now, we should be at 17 of 20, totally fine. Well, maybe not totally fine. I should have crafted the arrows and then collected some sticky sticks. I was, oh god, that was actually kind of embarrassing. I was not talking because I was kind of embarrassed, but because I tried to concentrate that death should not have happened. That was utterly bloody bleeding stupid. I wanted to obviously aim at the rig spot and apparently it's not really doing it. Now, you guys. Good. There we go. Hello, boy. Should be one more, right? Okay, let's explode him. Or just shoot him. And that should be all of them, right? Yeah. And there. Shut down the ore grinder and turn off the pump. Okay, let's start up here. First things first. Let's pull that. Hello. That can be put away. Spare parts I should maybe use more often. Sticks, thanks. Thank you. But I would like to see, sorry, forgive me. Okay, 18. That was just one or two, but that is fine. 
Right, there we go. And then we gotta need to shoot the thing. The grinder, I think. There's gonna be one gas thingy, a gas container, which we have to shoot to let it explode, which is gonna be exposed in a sec. Hydraulic fluid tank. That is the name I was looking for. There we go. Whoop, whoop. Now, and my tired, uh, well, my eyes are actually not tired. Um, I've seen a f health potion. I know, I'm always, I cannot memorize how the flower is called. There's a flower obviously providing us with her healing potions. And there should be one around the corner. I will search that. There should be one. I tried to memorize what I memorized in the little cutscene we had there, that we see the red barrel, I wanted to say now, the red line, the red fluid thingy going there, but I don't see it anymore. Okay, that gives us at least three or four, I'm good with that. That's weird, I am just, I guess... Um, then gonna have to say then I have probably some orientation well I'm not always oh well I'm okay anyhow I am not gonna blame the game but my orientation for not finding um, them okay for the last spot today let's actually try to go up to the ancestor tree and then we should be if we can find it that's the that's the um, main thing, the main feature, and in the next episode we then can finally go to the quest location, right? I need to get somehow up there, right? Now, what I try to is to actually feed our wonderful mount. Which did not work out. Sad face. Better slow things down. Let you get your breath back. Maybe another time. All right, it's not on top. Let's see, is there... Are there... Caves? Yeah, okay, but I don't see a entry point. Oh, come on. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. I really would like to actually get the ancestor skill point. We are gonna do one or two minutes where I'm gonna look around, and after that, we are gonna go to the quest location. If I'm utterly honest, this is, I mean, yep, if I. I obviously 
do that from time to time, but this is not my You're hungry, huh? Favorite thing in games is actually especially in locations where it theoretically can be everywhere in the cave and you need to fly around the location for 20 minutes. I am obviously um, actually complaining quite hard here, but this is a game that I don't like the most, but I think I'm not the only one there. Did I? Yeah, right. Did I not? I mean, did, maybe I'm just not. The thing is, what I um, it's that. Okay, there's the cave, right? I'm sometimes maybe, it is just taking time, you know. Sometimes to find, to go around. To search and then you need to get slower um, maybe I'm just wanting things to fast I don't know whether I need to go up or down And then in locations like this, I. That's why I sometimes say I'm cursed with being stupid. That I'm oftentimes am the due to goes in the wrong direction, which makes me, makes me then extra angry. Okay, we went right. That is, first of all, the good potion. And then we can fast travel out. And I wonder which skill we receive. And then go in the next episode after um, the quest. Screech ability. While flying your Ikran, Esther to screech by holding R3, damaging and disorienting enemies in a 75 meter radius. I think the 75, I mean, first of all, nice. We have an ability there. First of all, the ability obviously seems to be cool. And touch. 75 meters sounds amazing, but in the air, I'm not that certain how of a long range that actually is. If I'm not totally bloody bleeding honest. But that then is, I should jump down before we i mean it probably won't land here guys that is then right now gonna sadly enough already gonna hello gonna bring us to the end of today's episode and you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have in where do i need to go by the way there was a scream right uh, if you want to see how it goes on, I need first of all to fly in the other direction. Then hopefully you're going to turn in in the next episode. For now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonder, wonder, wonderful day. Stay frosty.